Somewhere in the streets of darkness lurks a man, torn between reality and madness. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my world. The Savage Kingdom! Every night is Halloween. You know what that means? Torture! Slim Jim presents WCW's Halloween Havoc. But this year it's gonna be different! WCW shall rest in peace! Ah, it's in! W! Oh! Oh yeah! You know what that means? No! Way! Out! Step to the madness! Slim Jim presents WCW's Halloween Havoc. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, children of all ages, welcome everyone and happy Halloween from everyone here at EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling live here in Houston, Texas. And most importantly, welcome everyone tonight. It is time. It's time for an evolution. It is time for EPW Halloween Havoc as I set the table for tonight's action on the way to the ring right now we have we have an introduction of the kings of combat it's going to be nick black and johnny farmer ladies and gentlemen right now we have for the epw tag team titles it's going to be a triple threat tornado tag team elimination match obviously it's going to be the bad boys but also we have high voltage andrew g and shock z but ladies and gentlemen Stay tuned for we also have in, in competition Sangre Mysteria taking on Riley Marie Bole for the War Zone Women's Championship. And in our main event, it's going to be the Assassin. JJ Ramirez taking on defending his World Heavyweight Championship against Leon Matoda. And it all takes place right here, right here on EPW Wrestling. Evolution Pro Wrestling. Where we step the game up. Ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, we're in Houston, Texas, but we are on the road. We are on the road to Chicago. We are on the road to EPW Great Wars. It's going to be a great war indeed. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a war right here, right now in this ring. And we have the first. Indeed, the first of our War Zone Tag Team Champions. It's going to be Braden King. I call him the Blue Beetle. Some good cosplay going on with this guy. There he is. Indeed, Happy Halloween. What a great outfit to wear on Halloween. More importantly, what a great War Zone Tag Team Champion in Braden King. Recently, he just reunited with his tag team partner, Dan Green, and they reformed the Bad Boys, and indeed, it was a, it's been a bad week for the Seeds. It's coming off of the assassination by J.J. Ramirez of Chris Andrews, the former World Heavyweight Champion of EPW, back at the Royal Rumble. Then you had the members of the seeds, the tag team champions, respectively, losing their titles right on the war zone. That said, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving forward right here. It's going to be tag team tornado tables action right here. It doesn't get any sweeter than a bag of candy on Halloween. It goes down right here on EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling. Indeed, again, EPW where we step the game. We talk about stepping up the game, stepping up, charging up, turning up. And we have the tag team champion, tag team partner. It's a little bit of an uneasy alliance, an uneasy alliance with the bad boys that they still have separate respective entrances. The egos of these guys, I tell you what, look at this guy. Dan Green feeling himself. 
Guys got tights like Flojo, but you know, what you gonna tell him? It's our tag team champion heading to the ring right here on EPW. Right here on Halloween Havoc, a little special. That's how special you guys are. We have a special for you. And that is indeed Halloween Havoc and some great action set to take place right here. Halloween Havoc, EPW, Evolution Pro Wrestling. Look at these guys, rings. The rings are going to fill up. Competitors. Maybe a bit of a trick for the bad boys. The bad boys didn't even know about this match until right now. They literally were told to get to the ring and then <laughs> all they knew, they were, all, all the bad boys knew it is that they were going to be in a match with tables. Not even knowing who their opponents were going to be. And indeed, we have Shock G, and the bigger part old school. We have Shock Z and Andrew G. Not the most, you know, electrifying name, Andrew. <laughs> the most electrifying name in sports entertainment, Andrew. It is what it is. I don't know about Andrew G, but up here we have PSE and G. Just paid my light bill. That's a shoot, ladies and gentlemen. I really did just pay my light bill the other day. And he else gets action, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action tornadoes. This is going to be a Donnie, but look at that clothesline. Look at Johnny Farm, take the clothesline. Welcome to EPW. Andy Green on the outside. Oh, the table. A shot neck table. Bear in mind, I'm a bit confused. I don't know which one is Shock Z and which one is Andrew. I do, but I believe the gentleman in the red on the outside fight with Danny Green is Andrew G. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. It's action all over the place, outside, inside. Looks like it's going to be Nick Black taking on Braden King. They're going at it. Off the ropes. No go there. No shot. Oh my God. Ugh. Goodness. Lindsey Geary. I believe it was Johnny Farmer just took that. Johnny Farmer in the white. Nick Black obviously in the black. No shot. No overhand by Johnny Farmer. I believe that is Shock Z. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There's so, ladies and gentlemen, there is so much action I didn't even see the setup. Ladies and gentlemen, damn Dan Green eliminating, I believe. I, I beg your pardon, I believe indeed. I believe, um, in, like I said, Andrew G, not the most electrifying name in sports entertainment. But how electrifying was his elimination from this Tag Team Tornadoes Championship match for the Warzone Tag Team titles right here on EPW. Again, ladies and gentlemen, EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling where we step up the game. Look at the game going on right here, literally. 2K. Look at this. Action on the outside by that table. That's all, that's all I noticed. And there's like four guys on the outside. All I see is, 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 all I see is Nick Black and Braden King by that table in a precarious situation, fighting by that third rail. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ugh. Snap suplex. Oh, look at this, took by the outside. It's not going well and oh my god, oh my goodness, did you see that? Braden King. Nick Black to the outside through a table. And what an elimination. What a match so far, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't been about five minutes into this match. Indeed. Nick Black heading back to take that shower. And Andrew G. Gonna have to come up with a better name than his damn government. But how electrifying was he? Oh, my springboard. Look at this. Springboard in the reverse Hurricane Rana. This action. All over this place. Oh, my goodness. Enough elimination that we, we could probably maybe contain all this action in the ring. Short arm clothesline. 
by Johnny Farmer. Oh, looking for that arm. Oh, what a super kick by Johnny Farmer. He just rolled Shoxy all the way to the outside. Oh, my goodness. Bladen King with that fist drop off the top rope all the way to the outside. Risking it all. Risking it all. Putting it all on the line for the Tag Team Championships right here on EPW Halloween Havoc. And a shot by Johnny Farmer. Farmer's carry reverse. No go there into a DDT. Danny Green looking to fight. Looking to be a fighting champion. Fighting for that championship. On the outside, Shot G. Brought him back in by Braden King. Grand opening, grand closing on the outside. And Johnny Farmer and ends a Gary. Oh, no. Single leg clothesline to Shock Z and the Bad Boys. Doing good right here. Defending their titles. Ugh, and that table the tables match. That said, there's no referee. There's no, there's, there's no pinfall. Oh! That neck breaker by Dan Green. There's no pinfall here. You can't just hit a good move and then that's it. That's not enough. Look at this. Fighting by that third rail at the table. That, that, that set up table. Look at this. It's a triple threat right here. We have three different tag teams right here. Brady King on the outside. And a super kick. Shot G to the outside. Dan Green and Johnny Farmer going in. Those kicks. Some educated feet. Some, 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 some foot education. Oh my goodness. To Johnny Farmer by Dan Green. Looking to hold on to that championship, that tag team championship. Uh oh, no go with clothesline. Right into an into Gary. Got action with Braden King. Oh my goodness. Johnny Farmer. Oh, Warpath right here and right here in the ring for the tag team championships. Oh, shot at the table. Oh my goodness, by Shock Z. Braden. Oh! You can break him at the table. Look at this. Stereo, both looking for something. Oh, snap man, no go, no, no go in stereo. Onto the ropes. The carry up, oh, just putting that neck to him. Oh, Johnny Farmer. We're gonna put on a showcase. I know about a showcase. Anyhow. Oh, no, drop kick. Johnny Farmer. Looking quite impressive right here in Halloween Havoc, right here on EPW. On the outside, table set up by Dan Green. Oh, oh my. I think he just busted him wide. Oh, oh my goodness. He didn't break the table, just knocked it down. Got to set it back up. But, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Green pulled Shock Z down, and he didn't think he busted him wide open. But then Dan Green knocked the table down, but actually busted. Dan Green wide open with that spin kick. Meanwhile, on the inside, Braden King and Johnny Farmer. No go there. Oh, no go there. And no go there at all. And all. <laughs> Blocked offense and missed opportunities. He gets stomped to shock speed by Dan Green. I mean, Flojo. I mean, Dan Green. I mean, one half of the tag team champions, the bad boys. Oh, my goodness. Intense brain buster, but you can't go for a pinfall. You have to go for that table. Braden King on, on Johnny Farmer with that insane brain buster. Oh my goodness. And I don't know. Johnny Farmer's been busted wide open. Great clothesline by by Dan Green. Braden King looking for some high some high risk offense. No go there. I think again. Going to the top rope. Risking it all, getting it all, getting that drop kick on Shock Z. Johnny Farmer and Braden King getting into it. Having some Twitter beef over there. And shot. Going for that kick. Takes him up. Oh, that's the power bomb. And boom, look at this on the outside. Fancy offense by Dan Green. Nice DDT. Close on. We're going to shut down to Johnny Farmer. Just a suplex, nothing fancy. Textbook vertical suplex. Fighting on the outside. Braden King and Shock Z, what's going on here? And a shot, and a shot. It's a fight. 
getting him back on the inside. Table, Johnny Farmer by the table. Precarious situation here. This, this looks risky. Oh, no go. Oh, what's this? And uh, into the corner on that table. Dan Green, Johnny Farmer. Okay. Back and forth. Braden King and Shock Z going at it. We see you guys too. Back and forth, Johnny Farmer, Dan Green with the chip. And oh! Dan Green has been eliminated one half of the tag team champions. And just like that, we have a triple threat one on one. A triple threat one on one for the tag team championship. And it's Havoc on Halloween at Halloween Havoc right here on EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling where we step up the game. And Johnny Farmer, Shock Z, and Braden King are all going to have to step up their game for all for their respective tag teams with this championship opportunity. Oh my God, you see that step up indeed. And Dan Green gets a little step his ass up out of here. But, oh my God. You see that DDT on the apron. Jim Cornette would lose his shit. Almost lost minds. Oh my goodness again. Look at that. Spin kick. Braden King doing some doing some feng shui, doing some feng shui with the furniture in the ring with those tables. Shock Z to the inside. Look at this. Oh my goodness. An opportunity. That's insane suplex. Took him across the ring. Johnny Farmer by that table. What's, what, what's on his mind? Northern Light Suplex. Blood all over his chest and his head. Look at that. Just a wear and tear. Plotting. Short arm to close on. Look at this. There's a wedge. That, that rib breaker. Into the table. Oh no. Against the table. And, oh, Johnny Farmer again, again against that table. It worked out good for him last time, but a risky situation. But on that third rail. And playing by that third rail on the outside. Shock Z and Braden King on that elbow. Kick right to the midsection. Oh, back body drop. On that, inf on that unforgiving mat on, right on the outside. Going for a scoop, no go. Going for a kick, no go. Going for a hip toss, no go. Going for a knee, got that. Oh, and then knee went onto the table. Braden King went nuts. Oh, and a kick. You can't win by can out in the table elimination match, but Braden King taking out both guys that knee. I'm talking family, odd parents, bronze kneecap going on here. Into the corner. Bad situation for Shot G. What's this? Looking for, looking for a power bomb into the corner. Now power bomb. We put him into that. He's been eliminated. He's now a one on one match for the tag on a clothesline. And again, Braden King unrelenting. Oh, might have. Look at this. He might have. Look at this with the, that, that sense of urgency. May have worked against Braden King. It was dove on his head to the outside. Now it's down to Johnny Farmer and him and Braden King for the tag team championship. This elimination. Look at this. On the table. Oh my guest. There you go. A competitor has been eliminated. Insane DDT Johnny Farmer. Giving an impressive, an impressive show. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible match, but still, your EPW Tag Team Champions, the Bad Boys, Bad Boys with a Z, Dan Green, somewhere backstage, and Braden King, your Braden King, again, holding on. I don't know how many tables that was. Go back and count. Look at this broken. Look at this. Look at that aftermath. Ladies and gentlemen, we have more action coming your way. Coming up, we have your, the, your Wars on Women's Champion, Riley Marie Bole, facing her challenger, Sangre Mysterio, 
Sangre Mysterio. And it's coming up, coming up right now on EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling, where we step up the game. Step the game up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we now have on the road to Chicago, on the road to EPW Great Wars. We have the Bad Boys moving on. And they'll be defending their tag team championship at Great Wars. But with Riley Marie Bole, she be going on to the Great Wars. Not only is she facing a great competitor in Sangre Mysterio, but she also has the looming threat of the Miss Money in the Bank, Jade Winter. Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't Game of Thrones. Winter, but Winter is coming. Winter is coming for the Warzone Tag, the Warzone the Pugs. They got Tag Team Championship on my mind. What an incredible elimination tag team match. I beg your pardon. But ladies and gentlemen, that, that aside, Winter is coming for the Warzone Women's Championship. It's coming for the Warzone Women's Champion. If Riley Marie Bole does go on to Great Wars, if she does successfully defend her title, attain her title against Sunday Mysterio, she still has Jade Winter to worry about. She could cash in right now and make this a triple threat match. She could cash in in the locker room after, after she does win. She could cash in on Sandra Mysteria after Sandra Mysteria wins this match. Winter is coming for the Wars Home Women's Champion. It's coming with Jade Winfrey. That's a scary looking bitch, too. And that aside, whoever does win this match will go on to face the, the number one contender, Kyrie Black. Introducing the challenger from Mexico City, the prototype, Sabin Gray. Indeed. Incredible competitor in some good history. Introducing the champion. From Charleston, South Carolina, she is the ECW Women's Champion, Riley Marie Boulay May. Unlike Hulk Hogan, she actually wrestled under the name Boulay. Just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this underway. EPW Wars on Women's Champion on the line right here at Halloween Habit. Again, ladies and gentlemen, no tricks, just treats. What a treat this is going to be right here. It's that drop kick and that elbow that sounded mysterious. Coming in hungry, the, the contender. And a kick. No go there. Looking for a kick of her own. The champion. Oh goodness! Teardrop, suplex, a backdrop, and again, Riley Marie fighting, fighting from the floor, fighting champion. Oh goodness, going for that leg, the dragon screen. Sangre looking, Sangre looking to spin Riley Marie all over this place. Smashing right there by the ropes. An innovative snap man, modified snap man by Sandra. Oh my God. He Modified her ass, that, 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 that forearm by the champion. Ring positioning. Looking to apply. Oh, going to go for that leg. Right here in the early goings of this Warzone Women's Championship match. Right here, right here at Halloween Havoc. Great suplex. Oh. I think it's the hat trick, the third amigo. Looking to honor Rings, looking to honor the late great Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. 
<laughs> Still going for the flag splash and no go there with that knee. Blocked by Riley Wood. By, by, by Riley Moore. Oh my goodness. I thought that was the that was the Riley's right right there. He's a shot. Still in the early goings. What's Riley thinking right here? Has him on the ropes. I'm in suspense. Oh. Went for that shot. No go. Got the kick. Some educated feet by Sandra was still. Oh my right to the outside. And the champion is on the outside right here. What's he gonna do about this? Two. Taking her for a walk. Oh, and the snake eyes on the outside to the steel steps. Sangre Mysterio is bringing the fight. The fight to. What the hell is she doing? In the middle of getting hot ass kicked. Riley Marie feeling herself some, some hubris. Yes, her body crazy, but man, hell won't you? Oh, you shot with that kick, that punt right to the side of the head. Jeez. You know what round the punt? But Riley was acting like posing like that. What's wrong with you? Not in this match. Meanwhile, Sangre Mysterious is, is on her is on her enemy Guerrero shit. That's the six amigo. This time I'm gonna stay for the cover. With championship on her mind, a cover. Threw her outside the ring, brought her back in and going for the damn win. Belly to belly. No more there blocked. Riley trying to get back into this match she needs to. To the outside, to the top rope. Oh. Riley Marie is not in this match. What is going on? stood there and let that woman come right in here and go for a modified oh boy. maybe I spoke too soon maybe I spoke too soon my goodness STO by the champion oh going for a spear she can't frog stuff but she frog please. she leap frog that spear and again with that abandoned suplex that, that pick you up and just forget about you in the air suplex Again, if he's going for another frog splash. Look at Oh my goodness. We had Macho Men in the intro trying to honor him with a bit for the elbow drop. No go there. And spear. By Bole. And kick right to the what's this? This is going for what the hell is this? I don't know what the hell just happened. This is a boxer man here. Some back and forth offense, but some weird ass back and forth. <laughs> and missed that clothesline, had her in the corner. And again, Sandra Mysterio is bringing the fight to the champion. Look at this, block the moonsault, that springboard. Some great offense, some great offense in this match. It's this here. The ground off into that, into that standing moonsault. Picks up that springboard and mix up that, that, that incredible springboard that Sangre had um, had scouted. Look at this. Riley Marie is really... F oh, my God. Did you see that kick? On that aside, it's, I'm trying to figure out the logic of, of the champion taking her content to taking her... Look at her, 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 her... Taking this number one competitor lightly. And giving her opportunities to possibly become the world's own women's champion. Going back for that leg. Look at this. Oh no. The European on STF. Sangre still in this match. Oh, my kick. Oh, you see that? High impact dragon speed. She threw her over her. And Riley, Riley Marie is starting to heat up in this match. But still, some, but still back and forth offense. A chop. Going for the eyes. Look at this. 
Marcus with more self oh, look at this thing. Dropped it to the leg. And Sangre going for, look at this, going for the arm. Oh my goodness. I don't know how that, that could pay dividends down the line, seeing how Raleigh and Marius finishes that, with that, that pat, that, that devastating Raleigh's right, that right hook shot. But again, this is the ninth amigo in this match so far by Sangre Mysteria paying homage to, 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 to Mexican and Lucha wrestling. To the top rope again. Maybe not with the frog splash, but what's going on here? And what's... Oh my goodness! The smoke on the replay, smoke indeed. Did you see that? Riley's right in the pen. That's gotta be... Wow. Again, maybe working on that arm paid dividends because that should have been the end of the match. What a savage right Oh my goodness! Again, going to that right hook. Still your champion, I believe, with that cover. And yes, indeed, but what an incredible match. What a great showing. What a great showing by Sangre Mysterio. But still your winner, Riley Marie Bole. Still your Warriors on Women's Champion. Again, look at that frog splash going for it. Looking to truly pay homage to the late great Eddie, Ed, Eddie Guerrero. Even try to throw in some Macho Man Randy Savage fan service. And like I said, even in the replay, ladies and gentlemen, just great back and forth action. Despite losing the match, making the game and making the, the, the last highlight. Indeed, some highlights left to us by a great, by a great competitor and Sandra Mysterio. But all that said, still, Riley Marie Bole will go on to Great Wars. And should, what? <laughs> what? I spoke too soon. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, Winter, 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 Jade Winter, Jade Winter has come, has come for the Women's Championship. Look at this! Oh, what the? Oh my God! <laughs> oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's too lit. It's too lit over here. The number one contender wants Riley Bole so bad she stopped the the Miss Money in the Bank. Jade Winter. Ladies and gentlemen, Winter came, and Riley Black just showed up like global warming. Oh my! What? What? Oh. And with that said, with ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Havoc. As it is Halloween, you get treats, you get costumes, but more importantly, right here at EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling, where we step the game up, you get Havoc. How incredible is that? Ladies and gentlemen, with all that said, we now move on to our main event match and indeed a great showing at the Royal Rumble, the EPW Royal Rumble, Leo, Leon Matoda looking to take on JJ Ramirez for the World Heavyweight Championship match and indeed on the road to Chicago the great wars great wars you may have Leon Matoda headlining. You may have Leon Matoda headlining and facing Kawan Cook. He has a puncher's chance against our world heavyweight champion, the assassin, JJ Ramirez. <laughs> My goodness, you can see that. First of all, what an incredible match by Sandra Mysterio. What an incredible showing. What a great competitor she is. She fought a good fight in, in Riley Marie. Taking her competitor very late. Well, taking her opponent so lightly. She showed how great her opponent actually was. Speaking of a great opponent. How great. Is Leon Matoda going to have to be tonight in our main event taking on the EPW World Heavyweight Champion, the Assassin, J.J. Ramirez? 
assassin and what the hell? I still want an explanation as to what the hell went through his mind when he pummeled and beat and broken and exposed. Damn near violated the former World Heavyweight Champion Chris Andrews. He destroyed that man. He destroyed him. Any credibility that man had as a champion in this man, in this promotion. To be honest, but we got to make that a Tyrannosaurus Rex over here because he ate that man alive. And again, ladies and gentlemen, EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling, where we step the game up. Ligo Matoda in a main event for the World Heavyweight Championship, he better step his game up against the Assassin. J.J. Ramirez. It's late that man is going to walk out. He's been something more than human, but less than human. He's been a machine in that room, but he's been a machine in this with no feelings. I don't think we've even seen Chris Andrews on the phone or whatever in the since since the violation. Pure violation that he suffered at the hands of our current champion right here. Long story short, Leon is an underdog. A prestigious title. On the line tonight, my main event right here at Halloween Havoc. Ladies and gentlemen, trick or treat. Introducing the challenger from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Leon Matoda. The hell was that? What's he? Sp he must be from Amsterdam. What the hell is he Introducing smoking? Introducing the champion from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 267 pounds, he is the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, the Assassin, J.J. Ramirez. And ladies and gentlemen, I just got a word from the back, from the EPW, from, 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 from the EPW officials, J.J. Ramirez is no longer going to be using his patented finisher, that spear, that that that, that, uh, that assassin's bullet. He'll be looking to, to apply a new finisher. He'll be looking to headline Great Wars. Oh my god! I spoke too soon. <laughs> the assassin's bullet was spear by J.J. Ramirez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much what happened to Chris, to Chris Andrews. He was speared. He was destroyed. He was dethroned as the king of, e a a of EPW Warzone. And JJ Ramirez. What is this? For a power bomb, maybe. And oh my goodness. Maybe not. Oh my god. What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, he power bombed him on the apron and swung him into the apron that he power bombed him on. Absolute. Just boot oh no overhand and shot another one. Look at this. And just absolute brutality. What the Who pissed in this guy's cornflakes? JJ Ramirez just fighting a savage fighting style. But I don't have I haven't I haven't seen anybody have an answer for. Look at this. He's got him on the table. He's gonna uh, uh, eliminate him all right. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The package power drop. Oh my god. Oh what the hell? JJ Ramirez is a fucking savage. And I haven't seen anyone in EPW have an answer for it. Look at this. Pimple table. 
Oh, she just speared him with the assassin going right on top of, right on top of the steel, steel guardrail. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not wearing the costume. That's not a Halloween smock. That's all him. It's the true savage, the true savage, brutal, brutal nature of the EPW Warzone World Heavyweight Champion J.J. Ramirez in the cover. I think that's it. It's not over yet. Oh my goodness, look at this. What's this? To a torture racket. No, no, no. Oh my god, what a, a psycho drop, a burning hammer on him. Smashing his head into. He just. Oh, how, how do you hit someone with a burning hammer and then smash their head into the floor and then do this to him? This is one of those matches where someone should stop the damn match. Kick to the midsection. And it ends up Gary. He is just literally running all over his opponent in our main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, no, just a snap suplex. Absolute brutality, just a lack, just a lack of humanity for his opponent. Again, oh, just running over, making roadkill out of his opponent, Leon Matoda. Yeah, Leon Matoda, who actually fared well in the World Rumble, could have headlined Great Wars, but how can he face him? Look at this. Oh, drop toe hole. He actually ran in with a drop toe hole. Just great offense by Eric Champion. Scoop, no goal there. I like that. Leo Matoda, maybe. Oh, <laughs> arm drag. Again, no goal with the scoop. With a kick. Oh, here we go. Leo Matoda, look at this. Pump handle. Oh, and the angle slam. The cover. No go, but how you like that? Riley Marie opened up an opportunity by not taking her opponent seriously, but J.J. Ramirez absolutely unrelenting. Lear Matone having to fight for that opportunity. You barely even got that off. And a kick. And a sense of urgency by, by, by Leo Matone. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Wait. That's the new finish. That's the cover. That's it. JJ Ramirez will be head will be headlining Great Wars. And God bless anyone who goes up against that man. The savage. The assassin. This guy took his mask off, put him one on. It's just war paint. It's the, it's the animal. Look at this. On his head, look at a burning hammer, he pumped for a table, he pumped for a guardrail, and then look at this. Oh my goodness. How do you pronounce this shit? That's sick. He calls that the, the sadist DDT. This guy's a sadist. <laughs> it, makes, it all makes sense now. The guy is a sadist. How did he do to that person? He just beat the crap out of Leon Matoda. Our champion, the assassin, James here Ramirez, retaining his World Heavyweight Championship and going on to Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, the road, the road to Great Wars. Look at this. Oh, Ron Cook, what the, what the hell? The hell with the road to Great Wars. Karan Cook wants a piece of the champion right now. Just beat the crap out of him. Taking a cheap shot. And not even respecting him as champion. Not, res not respecting the championship. And Jay Jeremy is having it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, from all of us here at EP. Oh my goodness, you got a table. This, this, geez, look at ladies and gentlemen, happy Halloween. The trick or treats, I'm telling you. How is this for another treat? We got another table after our main event. And of all people, the champion, the savage, the animal, the assassin, the world heavyweight champion getting choked slammed. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the road. The road to Chicago, the road to Great Wars. From everyone here at EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling, have a good night, have a good day. EPW Evolution Pro Wrestling, where we step up the game.